this is Freddy from Binsmith, bringing you another new tool in Revit. So last year we got Topo Solids as a new system family. This year they've added a couple new tools to that system. This one we'll talk about is Excavate. So when you click this button, you're allowed to select floors, building pads, roofs, and other Topo Solids to be able to create that excavation. So I click on that tool. You can see it only lets me select those items. So I can select this floor, that floor. Um, one of the first things you'll notice is now the Topo Solid is right up against that wall. Um, unfortunately, you cannot select walls, which seems to be a miss. Um, but we can probably extend that floor and be able to deal with that condition there. Um, similar here, the floor didn't extend all the way past the topo solid, so we have that condition there. All stuff that can be addressed, but things to keep in mind when you're drawing floors. So I can go around and select all my floors here. You can see it cuts it out. There is a floor here. There we go. Um, again, there's a foundation wall right in the middle there. The floors don't extend past it. So now I'm going to have to change that floor and be able to address that condition. Um, but once you're done with all your excavation, you can select the topo solid, go all the way to the bottom here. You have the excavation volume. Let me expand this here. And then the individual volume. So you can go through here and look at all the floors and the excavation volume, which is pretty nice to be able to have that information, especially individually like this. It's um, definitely um, the way I would like to see that information. So give it a shot. It uh, seems to be working pretty well right now, and I'm sure it's going to be very useful here.